Hey tech freaks from across the world. Welcome to my channel Tech Store. Before starting to watch this video, hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell icon. Do not forget to like, share and comment our videos. Thank you so much guys. Hey friends, I am Anand your tech guide from Tech Store and in this video I'm going to be showing you the Dell Inspiron G15 5511. This is the successor of the 5510 and we have it hands on with us. So if you are planning to buy this laptop or you want to upgrade and in a scenario you have already purchased then this is the video you should uh, watch. So let's do it. So we have the grey uh, variant of this particular series and as you can see the same design which was there in 5510 has continued. You have this semi textured finish over here, the V over here is textured and the remaining part is matte finish giving it a good design element. Over here also it looks very sturdy when you look at the laptop. Once you open uh, you have a two sided nano bezel and a fantastic screen in front of you. It is a 15.6 inches full HD screen and 120Hz refresh rate and 300 nits uh, brightness and it has got a wide viewing angle that is the IPS panel on this particular screen. The webcam quality is also we are going to be checking that and uh, we will check the webcam quality now. Over here uh, you see some perforations over here as well as over here. These are not uh, speaker grills. The keyboard over here is a orange backlit keyboard. Very premium looking keyboard. The key travel also is fantastic. Although the power button is inside the keyboard itself so that is something that I don't personally like but that is the way all laptop companies are going in. So the illumination of the keyboard is uh, very young and very uh, nice. You have the WASD for gamers uh, mentioned over here, the G key and uh, it has got an Alienware command center which comes along with it because it has been uh, engineered and designed by the Alienware team. So it comes preloaded with a Core i5 11 generation processors and uh, also Core i7 as well as Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7. So the Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 will be called 5515 basically and it comes with RTX 3050 by default. The touchpad is uh, considerably very small if you consider the other uh, laptops of Dell. This entire finishing is sort of a little rubbery kind of a finishing. It's not exactly very smooth basically. So nice little design element that Dell has given over here. The screen looks very upright and very very sturdy looks uh, uh, really built like a tank. On the left side you have a heat dissipation vent area over here top and bottom. You have an Ethernet port, you have a headphone mic combi, you have a battery indicator. On the front there are no IOs whatsoever. On the right you have uh, two USB 2.0 ports. Uh, again heat dissipation vent over here also. In the rear again you have heat dissipation vent on the left and right. Very good designing by the team, Dell team. You have a Thunderbolt uh, C type port over here. You have a USB 3.0 and uh, you have a HDMI full port and charging pin. You have a charging pin socket over here. The base also is very clutter free, uh, huge amount of uh, vents given in the base also. And uh, the speaker grills are over here and here, left and right. You will check the speaker quality. And the design looks very very neat and very clutter free. Uh, the rudders are also placed very nicely and looks very sturdy. So let's uh, dig deep uh, and see how you can upgrade the RAM and the inners of this particular uh, laptop. So this is the video taken from the web camera of the Dell Inspiron G15 5511 and as you can see the video quality is fantastic. It gives you a 720p video and uh, it has got a dual array microphone. So thumbs up on the webcam quality of the Dell Inspiron G15 5511. So let's check the speaker quality of the Dell Inspiron G15 5511. The speaker quality is fantastic, uh, there is good bass in the speakers that they have provided. Even the loudness is there and uh, it is not tinny whatsoever. There is a good amount of depth in the sound that comes out of the speaker. So big thumbs up on the speakers on the Dell Inspiron. So this is the command center, the fusion part of it. Uh, it will show you the current clock speed at which the processor is running, the GPU as well as the memory that it is being used and the temperature uh, analytics also. On the left you have again a temperature ka analytics. So you can uh, change the thermal profiles over here. That's a very cool uh, option that Dell has provided. 
the history of the temperature that you've had and uh, the GPU fan history, the fan speeds and uh, then the power settings are over here, the power management the sound settings are uh, pretty nice, you can see the bass boost, treble enhancer, voice clarity and it has got a 7.1 virtual surround sound also so all these settings you can very comfortably change like this and then uh, this is the 7.1 audio test So this is the way the audio clarity is of this particular Dell Inspiron G15. First thing first, we need to flip the laptop and we need to remove all the screws that are visible over here with a star screwdriver. One, two, three, four. These screws will not come out. So we'll just take a triangular prior like this and uh, start prying from the sides, which have already been protruded because of these screws. And the base will come off. So these are the inners of the Dell Inspiron Gaming G15 5511. So these are the two fans over here, the Wi-Fi chip, the M.2 SSD 1 area. This is the M.2 SSD 2, the two RAM slots, the battery over here and uh, the motherboard over here. So literally everything is visible, the speakers are also over here. So let's start with the battery first. You need to remove this connector from over here. Just pull it out very gently and it comes out. Now you need to remove the screws that are there. And remove it like this just need to pull it out and the battery is out so the battery is a 56 watt hour battery that uh, Dell provides and the power ratings are 13.2 volts and 4650 mAh and the part type is uh, 8FC TC so this is the same battery that you need to buy in a scenario you want to replace the battery and there is this connector over here in a scenario it does not come with a connector you just need to remove this particular connector just need to remove this protective tape You remove the protective tape and uh, you just need to put it out like this. So this connector comes off and you can take another battery and very comfortably you can again fit the connector to this battery like this and put the tape. Let's keep it on one side. Now coming to the part with the RAM is, so over here there are two RAM slots. So you can upgrade this particular laptop up to 32 GB comfortably, 16 plus 16. As of now, the RAM that is there on this uh, is a 4 plus 4 GB by default if it is an 8 GB model. So you want to replace it, just need to remove this RAM by pushing the two notches on these sides and the RAM comes off. So you need to buy a 4, 8 or 16 GB DDR4, 3200 MHz laptop RAM for this particular uh, model sodium laptop ram and you can take it and just insert it like this and press so that the notches hold on so 4 plus 4 or 8 plus 8 or 16 plus 16 is the ideal combination coming to part where the ssd is there is one ssd over here another ssd over here you can use a m.2280 nvme ssd this is a, the capacity might be one terabyte 500 gb 480 gb 256 gb or uh, 2 terabyte also just take a similar ssd like this and uh, you need to insert it over here like this and just leave it the design is such that it automatically clutches on and you don't require a screwing over here but advisably we would uh, request you to just tape it a little over here so that uh, over the usage it should not come off you can just tape it over here so this is the second SSD bay, this is the heatsink that comes along, so there are these two screws in a scenario you want to replace even this one, then you need to remove this one screw over here and another screw and uh, you can remove the SSD like this and it is held by this heatsink. So this is basically a 2230 form factor M.2 NVMe SSD Gen 3 uh, SSD which will clock up to 3300 to 4000 Mbps. You can buy a similar SSD or a long SSD also in a scenario you want to replace it with and uh, you can again fit it like this. Just put it on like this then screw it back. So these are the fans over here one and two. 
these are the speakers over here it is a 2.0 speaker system that it has and this is the wire cabling that connected there is absolutely no screwing whatsoever you can just comfortably remove the speaker like this and uh, ditto with this side also and there is a connector over here once you remove uh, this ssd you will see the connector over here just need to remove this connector like this and uh, you can remove this particular speaker and replace it in a scenario you want to replace the speaker So this is the DC jack over here, uh, it is connected to over here. In another video we will completely remove this uh, casing over here and show you how to replace the DC jack also. The VGA display cable is not uh, visible over here as you can see. So this is the keyboard connector. So if in a scenario your laptop's keyboard is not working and uh, keys are getting pressed, you just need to remove uh, the keyboard like this. You just need to remove the keyboard connector and uh, it will get disconnected. And you can use a USB keyboard for uh, powering on. Just need to, at this point of time, put it back. This is the backlit uh, connector. This is the touchpad connector over here. This is the Wi-Fi chip. You need to remove this one screw and the Wi-Fi can be replaced comfortably. A very uh, nicely modular design because it has been designed by Alienware. So really makes sense actually the way the elements have been put over here uh, for the battery support also so that it does not heat up if you can see over here. This is something which is not there in uh, most laptops over here also this part. This is entirely to support the battery actually. Let us put the battery back like this. Let us connect the connector. There is gluing, the tape is there. And uh, you need to now put in all the screws which you have removed. Just need to put the base like this from this side and then start pressing it. Put these screws first. Just need to power on. The logo will come a little late when I mean, the first time you upgrade or do any internal uh, changes in the laptop. Don't worry, eventually it will boot. This kind of a screen will come. Just press continue and uh, it will go ahead. So this my friends was a review of the Dell Inspiron G15 uh, 5511. This is the successor of the 5510 and it comes preloaded with the Core i5 11 generation or i7 11 generation and it uh, also comes with uh, by default RTX 3050 on the basic model and uh, 3060 on the higher end model. This is uh, got 8 GB, the model that we have reviewed today is a Core i5 variant, so it has got an 8 GB, 4 plus 4. You can upgrade the RAM up to 32 GB by replacing the two DIMM, uh, replacing the two DIMM sticks with 16 plus 16. It comes with two M.2 SSD, NVMe SSD slots, so you can upgrade the SSD up to 2 plus 2, 4 terabyte in total and uh, it comes with a very large 56 watt hour battery and a good comfortable battery backup around 4 to 5 hours we experienced on a non-gaming mode and around two and a half three hours on a thorough gaming mode and uh, the keyboard quality is fantastic it has got a good backlight and uh, very bright backlight orange in color and very young uh, color to be precise and the camera quality is fantastic the webcam that they have integrated 720p video and uh, the screen quality is uh, again uh, the top notch it has got a wide viewing angle screen 120 hertz although we would have expected it to be 144 at least but uh, 120 is what they have given here and uh, uh, the speaker quality again i should uh, mention uh, is uh, out of the block at this price point here in india somewhere around 70000 rupees uh, the entry level 5511 this kind of quality and the built that this particular laptop has is incomparable to the other models in the same category. It's got a fantastic thermal cooling. The amount of perforations that are there for heat dissipations are incomparable with any other laptop in this particular category. So in this video, we have also shown you how to upgrade the RAM, uh, replace the battery, put another SSD and all the key things that you would require after buying this laptop. Hope you liked our video guys. Do let us know of your suggestions and comments and do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. Thank you so much guys.